Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's foggy across the Mid-South, at least in some areas anyway, and we're looking again at more chances of showers across the area off and on throughout the rest of the morning. Apologies for the light stripe right here. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that because it's coming in from that very bright spotlight up above us, so sorry about that, but we'll try to muddle on through. If you can't see anything, again, just hopefully we can get that taken care of a little bit later. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we got fog. We will see the possibility of some more thunderstorms as we go into around Monday, and some of those could be on the strong to severe side. The weekend, not too bad, but again, some chances of showers out there. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. As always, drop your weather reports into the comments section. We'll read off some of those as we go on through. City-state location, you got rain in the rain gauge, you got temperatures from the kitchen window through thermometer. Let us know what's going on in your area. For those of you who have never tuned in here before, we are around the area of the Mid-South. That's North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis, Tennessee right there in the middle. For those of you tuning in from outside the country, welcome. Thanks a lot for sticking around. Had some people around from Scotland earlier this week, and thanks a lot to everybody from around the Mid-South from tuning on in to see what's going on in and around the area. Coming up again, we'll take a look at that extended forecast and see if we have any winter weather coming our way, and also again the possibility of some warmer than cooler temperatures heading into the Mid-South. More on that coming up in just a little bit, so stick around for more on that. Quick check of the forecast. Again, there will be that chance of a scattered drizzle out there this morning. There's really not that much to speak about out there. But there will be the potential of some more of those scattered showers out there off and on through about midday. The kids at the school bus stop this morning may see some drizzle, and then that should clear up by the time everybody heads home from school or work later on tonight. So that's looking okay for right now. The weekend, again, we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Biggest impact today is going to be the temperatures. That's where we see, again, the numbers going back into around the upper 40s to lower 50s, and that's as warm as it gets throughout the rest of the day today. So not looking at too much of anything out there in the way of very mild temperatures, at least for now. Foggy across northern Mississippi from the University of Mississippi in Oxford. We're looking at foggy skies across the quad this morning and also across much of the rest of the Mid-South area. Olive Branch, Mississippi, clouds and fog from Squawk 1111's weather underground web camera. 45 degrees, way too warm for anything but liquid precipitation and fog out there. No freezing fog, no snow, no winter weather, anything like that showing up into and around the Mid-South, so good news on that. Rhodes College in central Memphis, solid overcast, a little fog off in the distance looking back to the northwest at this time. And again, pretty much on the cloudy side, pretty well everywhere you go. Looking at very low clouds, Clark Towers around the area of Poplar and Mendenhall, only the lower portion of the building visible, and downtown Memphis usually visible on the horizon, not seeing anything of that for this morning. So that's how thick some of that fog is out there. West Memphis, Arkansas, about an hour and a half ago, you could clearly see up the roadway toward Marion and Sunset. Not the case right now. Just past 8 o'clock this morning, we're looking at visibility much decreased. That'll improve later on, but not immediately. And temperatures, again, well above freezing, so just liquid raindrops and fog drops up there uh, for right now. Welcome to everybody who's checking in from across the Mid-South. Thanks a lot for joining us on News Channel 3. Uh, weather overtime for this morning. Visibility fluctuating, but still worst in the Boot Hill, eastern Arkansas, and now into around northwestern Mississippi. The National Weather Service has expanded the dense fog advisory for around the area of Tunica and down toward around Coahoma and Quitman counties. A little bit more fog in this area for right now, and of course across eastern Arkansas. Not an effect for southwest Tennessee or northeast Mississippi. But again, could be dense fog just about any place across the area this morning. So please keep that in mind. This will expire at 10 o'clock or when conditions improve, which hopefully will be relatively soon out there for right now. Scattered showers, kind of, sort of. We're not looking at too much up that direction. We're seeing better possibility of rain showers across southern Missouri. 
north central Mississippi. And yes, there is some pink showing up there, so that could indicate some rain mixed with snow coming down across those particular areas. The only real showers we have popping up in the Mid-South are right to the west of I-55 in Mississippi County and right on down into around portions of east central Arkansas. We've had a few speckles of rain earlier this morning in Shelby County, northwest Mississippi and southeast Arkansas, but beyond this for right now, really just not that much going on at this point in time, so you won't need a lot with the rainfall. And again, not much else going on for now. If you are heading to the East Coast, anything, say, north of D.C. and the Chesapeake Bay area, new storm system getting cranked up here, and that could cause some slick conditions and some slowdowns. So from D.C., Baltimore, Philly, back up toward New York, Boston, and that area, could be looking at some slowdowns in the next couple of days, so please monitor this over the next few days, and we'll keep you updated as to what's going on. Our next storm system is getting organized way out west, and will be heading in from the northwest across the Rockies and the Plain States, moving into the Mid-South as we get toward Monday. That will be our best chance of storms in the area, as we see again the potential for stronger weather coming up uh, by the time we get into the early part of next week. So that'll be, again, the possibility of the worst weather out there. Cool and cloudy in Wynn, Wynn Arkansas. Rita Allen, thank you very much for that one. Uh, fog is lifting in Kaiser, Arkansas. Judy Dunlap, thank you very much uh, for that one. Ernest Hayes, a little bit farther from outside the News Channel 3 viewing area from Salisbury, North Carolina, welcome to the show from back east. Thank you for tuning in. And 45 in Walls, Mississippi, cloudy skies, Jeffrey Griffiths. Thank you very much for that weather report. Lower 40s for right now across the Mid-South. Again, temperatures decently above freezing, so no possibility of winter weather out there. The chances of showers, again, will be sticking around throughout the rest of the morning and into early this afternoon. And because of those clouds and those rain showers blocking out the sunshine, we're not going to be seeing that much in the way of warm temperatures. So for today, picking up the kids from school, drizzle drifting off to the east. We'll probably see high temperatures only in the high 40s, maybe a few lower 50s out there for the metro, northwest Mississippi and southeast Arkansas. But that's as warm as it gets today, and that's just slightly below normal for this time of the year. News Channel 3 at 5, rush hour home, clearing out the rainfall drier at least than what we saw earlier today and by news channel 3 at 10 going toward midnight not that much going on but we're not done with the rainfall yet back into around portions of eastern arkansas tomorrow morning there will be a few light showers a little bit heavier than today drifting on through and that could lead to a wet time for early Saturday morning travel times out there. So if you got any place to go early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak, you might be looking at some wet roadways, some wet windshields, and want to take along the umbrella, but not seeing anything in the way of storms out there just yet. Leaping ahead a little bit toward Monday around commute time, unfortunately, that's where we may see the possibility of scattered showers into and around the area. And then as we go into Monday afternoon, intensifying chances of rainfall into and around the area, that's where we may see, again, uh, the heaviest chances of rainfall coming on through for Monday, right on into Monday afternoon and evening. And that's also where we see the potential, again, for stronger weather out there. But just rain, no winter weather being seen at this time. So that's great news uh, for the Mid-South right now. Claire... Fontanet 65 in Louisiana. Welcome to the show, and thanks for the warmer weather there. Fog lifting in Clarksdale. Thank you very much to Catherine Gallimore. Hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much. Uh, Annette Bright, Monday Storms. Hang on, we'll talk about that uh, for right now. Tere Tressa Solly, a good day to sleep in if you don't have to work today. Yeah, good day for napping out there. Wish I had that opportunity to do so for right now, but duty calls, so sorry about that. Thunderstorms again on Monday. We're still a little bit farther out to get a severe weather forecast from the Storm Prediction Center. They do days one, two, and three, which is today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Day four, Monday, is just outside that range, so we don't have an official forecast yet. That'll be coming up tonight into tomorrow morning, and we'll bring that information to you on News Channel 3 social media as well. So for right now, for Monday, we're just not seeing anything yet in the way of severe weather. Now, is it still possible? Yes, there are signs we could be looking at stronger weather, including some supercell thunderstorms, larger, 
more powerful, well-constructed thunderstorms that last a longer period of time. Now, again, most of that's going to be down around Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, southern Arkansas, but it's a concern enough for the Storm Prediction Center to mention that in the extended forecast. So that is what we may be looking for coming up on Monday. And again, the best time on Monday will be afternoon and evening, so lunchtime through about rush hour home on Monday is what we may be seeing here. And again, this forecast will change through the weekend, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Rest of the day today, again, back in the lower 50s. Drizzle at first, leaving the area later on this afternoon into this evening. Rain showers tomorrow morning. Temperatures, again, well above freezing, so just liquid rainfall and just scattered showers early. Rest of Saturday, if you got outdoor plans, again, looking pretty good for right now. Not seeing any major problems, again, with weather from, say, mid-morning Saturday through Saturday evening. Getting into Sunday, if you got any outdoor plans, Dawn patrol through about lunchtime. you got a window of opportunity to get outdoors for a little bit. And then around midday through about early evening, that's where we see the chances of showers starting to reappear. And that's where we also, again, see the potential of maybe some thunderstorms going on late Sunday night into early on Monday morning. But I think the best opportunity for thunderstorms will be coming up again in the afternoon and evening hours of Monday that's when we really need to watch what's going on out there. Very mild on Monday, too. Temperatures back in the lower 60s out there. Then a sharp downturn in the temperatures. 20 degrees cooler almost on Tuesday. Trying to recoup some temperatures through the mid part of the week, but at least we get some sunshine out there. Another chance of rain as we head into and around the area of next Friday, but very small chances at this point in time, hardly anything else out there going on. And then next Saturday, we're finally at the change of seasons. We're getting close to the solstice, to the shortest day of the year. That'll be coming up on Saturday for the last day of fall. The first official day of winter actually takes place next Sunday. Now, winter officially begins next Saturday night. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday at 11.21 p.m. So it happens after the sun goes down. So the first full day of winter will be coming up next Sunday. So we're getting close to that change in seasons. About ready to turn the corner for the days to get longer and start to see again a little bit more daylight out there. So getting close to that time of the year where we'll change things over. So again, seeing the potential for no winter weather out there all the way into winter but we still have several more months of winter season coming up as we go into and around the area for right now. Jeremy Taylor, Foggy and Proctor outside of West Memphis. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Jadwan Porter, hope I'm saying that right. Foggy, Holly Springs, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that one. Steve Stansbury, Pea Soup in West Memphis. Thank you for that one. And Amy Pelcher, Blue Springs, Mississippi, 44 degrees and patchy fog. Thank you very much for all those weather reports out there. Not much else going on. Nothing in the tropics and again, no major winter weather coming through. So we don't have any specific focus on what's happening now and through the weekend would be a very good time to review your severe weather plans, including signing up for weather call. If you'd like to know more, go to our website, wrag.com slash weather, where Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens. You call in, you sign up, you tell the uh, service where your area is located, and the phone call will come to you when there is a warning, when you're placed in that polygon, that'll call and warn you as to what's going on in that particular location. So again, great opportunity to stay on top of the weather, and Tim and Jim help you do that with weather call. Again, more information and a great time to sign up today. Go to the website at wrag.com and sign up for more information and the service as well. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media because we'll be having a lot of updates throughout the weekend as the Storm Prediction Center changes their forecast. We'll bring that to you throughout Saturday and Sunday and getting close to Monday. Again, we'll see those changes coming up in the forecast. And also, don't forget to download the News Channel 3 weather app. Tons of weather information, latest forecast available, and, of course, our latest weather video from our latest newscast, all available there. Make sure you down that and get ready again for the possibility of stronger weather coming on through as we get into Monday. One more check of the forecast before we sign off. We've got an update coming up here at about 825. And again, a new forecast update coming up on News Channel 3 Live at 9. Not that warm today. Temperatures back into around the upper 40s to the lower 50s. And that's going to be about it for the temperatures through the rest of the day. Chance of showers, sprinkles, basically 
going to last through about midday, and that's about all that we've got for right now into the way of rainfall. But another chance of rain tomorrow morning, and again on Monday, there's chances of thunderstorms taking place. So get ready again for some possible problems out there as we get into the early parts of Monday afternoon and early Monday evening. We are still in storm season number two, so now is the time when nothing is going on to get ready for severe weather, and the weather experts will help you do that, so stay tuned for more on that. Updates throughout the rest of the morning. I'll be on News Channel 3 at noon with an update as well, and Tim Simpson has your forecast into the weekend coming up on our evening show starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 and all the way through News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers will be back with you bright and early Monday morning to get you ready for that possibility of severe weather. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas? Complaints, if you absolutely must, drop me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to see more about what you'd like to see on here. Like to see more satellites, more weather information for climate, more river data, whatever. Let us know. We'd love to be able to keep you coming back. And if we can feature the information you want, glad to have you with us and along for the ride. So let us know what you think and what we can add on to here and be glad to, again, see if we can add that on here. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. You've been watching Weather Overtime. Stay tuned for details and updates throughout the rest of the weekend on our approaching chance for severe weather on Monday. Thanks for joining us this morning.